YouTube, what is it, it's your boy Boogie, back with another video, and today we're going to be reacting to White Kids Punishment by Timeless, and uh, without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's get into the video, let's do, it, let's do 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 it, boy, if you don't, ooh, 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 ooh. you've heard this sound, mm. My goodness. I know that sound. Don't it bring back memories? But if it doesn't, hoo -hoo, lucky you. <laughs> Time is living. Now, you did my black kids punishment video, right? And if you haven't, just check it out. Now, if you dig in I'll the comment section, most kids agree. Like, damn, Tim, I feel you, fam. My parents flamed me up too, but I keep noticing an interesting comment. A comment that pretty much says, "Us white kids get the business." Too. I love videos like oh, this, man. Oh, really? Now, I do my story from a black kids perspective. Love it. I mean, I am black. But today, I think it's only fair that we now look at it from a different perspective. So, we are doing white kids punishment. First thing first, let's dig into the word punishment, which means the infliction or the imposition of a penalty as retribution for an offense. Cool, meaning you do something that's considered offensive, you have to deal with the consequences. Now, some parents choose different ways of punishment. Some kids are motivated by materialistic things, so taking away a kid's cell phone or video game makes them come correct. But then, there's the tough. Hard-headed kids just like yours truly. Trust <laughs> me, you can take away all the things you want, put me on timeout, and even go as far as grounding me. But that ain't gonna yeah, I was work. A materialistic I need kid. an ass whooping. And my parents knew it. See, there's something about that pain that lives somewhere in the back of your mind. Makes you never want to attempt it ever again. It's like before you commit an offense, you suddenly have a flashback. A flashback of the <clears throat> best ass whooping you ever had. I remember uh fourth grade and my report card came home and I showed I showed my mom my report card the next morning like the next morning and yeah right before school I had my school clothes on looking nice and everything and she see my report card she get mad she grabbed me by my by my collar and she put me up into the into the wall and she started boom 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 and it was just you can't speak yeah, and you like Baby. It ain't worth it, fam. Now, I'm not saying all they black kids speak. get whoopings because contrary to belief, some don't. For example, my girl, right? Dead ass in her household, her mom never whooped her. I don't think you heard me. Her black southern mother did not whoop her. Do you know how crazy that sounded to me? I'm flabbergasted. Getting whooped as a black kid is like a rite of passage to me. I think usually like, the parents that don't give whoopings are like the ones that like usually have a, like usually give out another punishment like where you have to hold your arms up like for like 20 minutes or something or like they make you like do like 200 push-ups or something in a row and don't stop or something like that i know you do something else besides me this is like saying the earth is flat like how do you know bro why not triangular or hexagon you feel me so for this story i'm gonna take you back back to my middle school years. Now y'all already know, went to an upper class white middle school, which was a completely different world from where we lived. So one day I was given a group project with my boy Adam. Now for this project, we had to spend time after school in order to complete it, which meant either Adam had to come all the way to my side of town or I had to go over to his crib. Now I'm pretty sure you already know, ain't no way Adam's parents were gonna let him slide through the bando, so I decided to go to his house. So one Saturday morning, my dad picked me up and dropped me off at Adam's crib so we could finish the project. Now the date went well. Adam was a great partner. We completed the project. And since we completed it earlier than expected, we had time to chill. So we get up to Adam's room and started playing Mortal Kombat. Now, this is where things got interesting. My boy Adam had his television on full blast, which I thought was a little odd because his door was wide open and his parents were downstairs. But cool, not my house, right? So I'ma mind my own damn business. <laughs> so during the gameplay, we hear Adam, can you please turn your TV down? Now in my household, ain't no <laughs> TV down. It's 
Boy, why you got your TV so loud? But not my crib, right? So a few moments go by, and I notice my man's Adam hadn't turned the TV down. So I was like, yo, Adam, you might want to turn that TV down. Nah, I like it loud, man. Now, I don't know how you were raised, but immediately my nigga senses started tingling because I knew somebody <laughs> about to get their ass bit in front senses. of his friend. So yet again, I was like, yo, Adam, turn it down, kid. We good, bro. Oh, shh. So, we kept playing. A few moments later, I hear Adam's mom coming upstairs. And I already knew, oh, it's about to go down. So Adam's mom comes to the room and she's like, Adam, why is the TV so loud? Because I like it that way? Now I'm bugging. Adam, please turn the TV down. No, mom. Oh, this was Damn. it. My first time Damn. experiencing a white whooping and I got front row seats. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. So. Adam's mom moves up, gets the remote, and turns the TV down herself. Okay, hold up. I ain't never seen nothing like this. Now, I can't cap. In the back of my mind, I was like, she whoop his ass like <laughs> Matter of fact, use my belt. Adam's my man's and all, but you can't disrespect your parents in front of a guest. That's the ultimate no-no. So his mom leaves, and I was still in shock. Bro, are you crazy? Why? You just talk back to your mom in front of me. Oh, really? Now this is where it hit me. Dang. White kids don't get their ass beat because it never crossed Adam's mind that his mom might swing at any moment. So I left Adam's crib, went back to my house and started thinking, I need some respect up in this bed. From now on, I'm speaking my mind. Well, let's just see <laughs> <I'm laughs> about mind. that. Well, First of all, clean, clean your head. Go fly reaction to my game. Moral of the story. You are free to choose, but you're not free from the consequences of your choice. What's up, world? Thank you for joining. If you did like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share for more. It's Boogie, and I'm out.